are you doing? Oh, good gracious. This is a surprise. <laughs> it's, uh... Patrick, Patrick and, and Pippa. Pippa. <laughs> Everything was fine. Until the moment came for us to present him with his bottle of Chateau Chevenet Merceau. <laughs> if you can cast your mind back, Mr. Meldrew. This was the bottle of extremely rare vintage plonk, which we paid £850 for. And you've just poured the last drops in a bubble and squished! <laughs> and something closely resembling carbonated cat's urine started dribbling down the sides of the bottle. <laughs> highest order. I knew it the first time we went round to see him. He made us a cup of tea and then virtually tried to force us at knife point to get into his bed. I'd forgotten what he did with that tortoise that was entrusted to his care. Ran straight out of the back and started toasting it on a garden fork. <laughs> well? <laughs> yes. yes, I am. I mean, we might just as well go away for the week and ask the Terminator to come in and water our plants. Sleep a lot easier. Morning. I've got to give you my... Si <laughs> yeah, it's pretty run-of-the-mill stuff, really. He was mowing the front room car. <laughs> Not normal for him on a Monday, isn't it? Probably planting begonias in the video recorder by now. <laughs> I was just wondering how you're going to get the end of this hose pipe out of your bottom. <laughs> oh, dear God, spare us all. This is a new one. We've got a teddy bear clamped in a Black & Decker workmate and he's gouging its eyes out with a potato peeler. Well, what with that and our friend Homo Erectus out the back, you never know what you're going to see there next. I imagine he must live in a cave quite nearby somewhere. Comes out for a few hours each day to lumber around Meldrew's garden with a shovel in his fist. <laughs> I've never seen so much hair growing down someone's back in all my life. <laughs> it's like blow dry his bottom every morning. <laughs> Reminds me of the time he tried to toilet train that ventriloquist dummy. You've got the mad cow. <laughs> oh, come on, wave goodbye to your 60,000 quid. He sprinkles dead flies on his cornflakes each morning. You go, um, did I somewhere? Um, yes, just up to the hospital, you know to have a hermit crab surgically removed from my testicles. <laughs> oh, I've only got myself to blame on that one, I'm afraid. The old, old story, I remembered to apply the sunscreen, but completely forgot to smear my groin with crab repellent. <laughs> and, uh, inevitably, I paid the price. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon. <laughs> oh, my... God, this is absolutely macabre. What is? Well, it's hard to make out exactly without my lenses, but there appears to be some sort of wild creature crawling out onto that lamp. They're just a normal couple like you and me, trying to lead normal everyday lives. Ah, here we are. What did I tell you? My horoscope for the day. Do not, under any circumstances, go round for a meal tonight at Victor Meldrews unless accompanied by a trained exorcist. I would ring up and cancel, but I suppose it's a bit inconsiderate, isn't it, really? Dragging him out of his coffin in broad daylight. <laughs> suppose we could try wearing crucifixes. I wonder what bizarre aquatic species I can expect in the groin this time. <laughs> Stingray up the rectum? <laughs> So I'll just get off lightly with a couple of barnacles on the foreskin. <laughs> yes, here we are. Wonder what he uses to cut his toenails at night. <laughs> a wine harvester? Like spending an evening at the Munsters coming around here. <laughs> I don't know what nameless horror you're going to come across next. Here we are. <laughs> in the name of God, what kind of a sadist is he? Yes, hello. Could you put me through to the fire brigade, please? <laughs> Somebody here call us. Perhaps a stronger lock on the door of your laboratory might stop them escaping next time. <laughs> the entire staff and management were under the hideous impression that Mr. Meldrew and I were secret lovers. <laughs> Although, for maximum embarrassment, it would be hard to top the moment when the waiter came over 
in front of the entire restaurant. I can only assume he was attempting to say, do you both love pork? And not as it came out in his mangled English, do you both have sex with pigs? <laughs> the larder door, he's only sitting in there like Rodan's thinker on a bag of potatoes. <laughs> I mean, absolute worst nightmare. Mr. Meldrew, there's already enough permafrost in my underpants to keep a leg of lamb fresh for a month. <laughs> uh, that I'm now in a deserted old house with a madman who, um, actually just say madman, she'll know who it is. You're very welcome to the big bedroom up there. Mr. Meldrew, on balance, I'd rather stick my head up an elephant. <laughs> Darling, living on the same planet as Victor Meldrew is a problem. <laughs> kind of chess with death. Imagine Salvador Dali feeling at home in this house. <laughs> that uh, stuffed dog with a truss over its head in the downstairs <laughs> toilet, for example. <laughs> I don't think he'd find particularly restful. Now, what do you suppose I'd find if I opened this ring box? A ring? come out for a meal with Mr. Meldrew tonight on principle, just because of what's happened in the past. My dear, the police were digging up bones in his back garden this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't need to remind you what the shock of seeing Mr. Meldrew with no clothes on did to this poor little mite. <laughs> Enough to strike anyone dumb, I should think. I suppose you're wondering where it came from. Well, that's right. Couldn't even begin to hazard a guess. The rectum of a very nervous albatross? <laughs> a flock of willow warblers with chronic dysentery? <laughs> yes, I have to say, Mr. Meldrew, you certainly haven't lost your touch. And when your wife said you had a little surprise lined up for me, I'll admit, one or two old favourites did spring to mind. A gift pack of your own worn underpants, a jellyboam of cat's urine, but no, for all round staggering pointlessness, this has to take the biscuit. <laughs> Mrs. Meldrew, what is there to like? It's excrement. What is it? What's what? happening? How do you even attempt to get inside a mind like that? It's not just the fact that he brings me a sheet of plywood splattered with bird shit for my birthday. <laughs> for some reason, he imagines. He can take the curse off the smell with trace elements of tomato ketchup. You know who you're starting to turn into, don't you? Mm -hmm. And the frightening thing is, you can't even see it. 